In today's video, we unveil four brand new Fender Custom Shop guitars. So let's get straight to it. Hello guys, welcome back to Squealing Pick Guitars, the home of luxury shred machines here in Nottingham, England. My name is Ben Keatley and today I have the pleasure of showing you four brand new Fender Custom Shop guitars. All of these Fender guitars are Stratocasters and they have some pretty cool and wacky specs. So let's get into guitar number one. So the first guitar is a 62 reissue Stratocaster and they basically call this one the Flamethrower Stratocaster, mainly due to the finish. Obviously you've got this massive sparkle gold finish that you don't usually see on Stratocasters. We pair that with a tortoiseshell guard, which is free ply, uh, which is relics. Has a little bit of patina to the pick guard. We've got blacked out single coils. These are the 60s hand wound single coils. One volume, two tones, five way switch, standard kind of strat specs there. We work our way down to the neck. We've got a beautiful rosewood fingerboard. As I can see, this is a slab board as well, so you get the thicker uh, piece of rosewood on these ones. We also have the clay dots, as it is a 60s spec guitar. I really like clay dots on a Stratocaster. I think it adds a really nice kind of subtle off tone to the rosewood. We've got some really nice dark rosewood on this one, and then we go to our kind of spaghetti logo on our headstock. As you can see, this flamed maple neck is very, very nice indeed. As we turn it over, these necks are some of the nicest flame we've seen on kind of just like a standard Fender Custom Shop. Uh, so this isn't roasted at all, but obviously it's got a nice amount of flame to it. Uh, we have that kind of medium tint lacquer, which makes it look a little more yellow, uh, which I prefer. You can see there where the lacquer's worn through a little bit. So you can kind of see the raw look of the maple uh, without the lacquer. On these necks, we kind of have the early 60s profile. Um, so it's a little bit thinner than the 50s, for example, but it's very pliable, nice and comfortable. We've got the vintage six in line tuners, one string tree, and we've got a bone nut. My only criticism with this guitar is I wish we actually had black controls on this one instead of white. I think it kind of glares out a little bit, but I think the overall look of this guitar is really cool. It's starting to really grow on me, the tortoiseshell guard mixed with like a sparkle finish. So let's plug this bad boy in and hear guitar number one.
Time for guitar number two. As you can see, we've got some similar DNA from the previous guitar, uh, but this is a little bit different. So obviously we've got a shell pink finish, which is in a heavy relic finish. So the previous one was only lightly relic, uh, but this one's got a lot of buckle rash, lots of kind of arm wear. We are seeing a lot of kind of, you know, bare wood on this guitar. This is a shell pink color, which is really nice, but obviously you get like that nice lacquer checking. We pair that with a three ply tortoise shell guard again. We've got that nice patina around the edges, so it's slightly yellowed out. In terms of pickups on this guitar, obviously you can see we have them same kind of black coil covers. So we've got two 60s pickups here, which is hand wound, and then with the EVH WG standing for Wolfgang. It's a really tight humbucker and obviously very reminiscent of the classic Van Halen sound. Um, so that's kind of cool how we have that in today's guitar. Again, we've gone for them white kind of knobs. Again, I think it would look better with a black knob and then the black uh, switch tip just to match the pickups, but that's my personal opinion. We've got older body on these. I don't think I mentioned that on the previous one, but all of these have older bodies. As we work our way down to the neck, we've got a rosewood fingerboard. This one's a little bit lighter than the previous one. But we've got them clay dots. Working our way around, this one has a lot more relicing than the neck. It has a nice flamed maple. I really like the look of this medium tint lacquer here. Um, I kind of wish that carried on all the way through the neck. Um, but this is a very comfortable guitar to play. Um, this is like almost like a satin finish here on the back of the neck. Also really nice relic marks on the butt of the headstock as well as all that flaming. Again, same specs here, so six in line vintage tuners, spaghetti logo. We've got the nice medium jumbo frets on here, so it's very easy to bend on these guitars. This tortoiseshell guard, it has a little bit more figuring, I guess is the right word. It has a lot more swell patterns to the pick guard, which I really like. So that's guitar number two. So let's plug her in and play some Van Halen. So for guitar number three, we've got something a little bit different here. We've still got a 60s spec Stratocaster, but we actually have a maple neck and fretboard. And this again has that kind of flamed maple look to it. Probably not as drastic as the other ones, but we still have some flame maple there. This guitar is completely NOS, meaning that there's no scratches, no relicking. It's completely pristine from the custom shop. So this is what a guitar would look like brand new. As you can see, we've got very similar specs. They're the same vintage style tuners, but completely clean. Spaghetti logo, one string tree. Got 21 frets. We've even got the blacked out kind of single coils. These are the 60s hand wound single coils. Got the tortoiseshell guard. As this guitar is brand new, it still has the cellophane on it. So you'll see that on the pick guard, uh, but there's no scratches on it at all. 
Got one volume, two tones. Same kind of style with the white volume and tones. I think it works a little bit better as the finish is actually white, so it kind of suits it. It's an older body, it's a maple neck. It's basically a classic Stratocaster. So let's plug it in and see how it differs from the others. And finally, time for our last guitar of today's episode. It's a guitar number four, and we're definitely finishing with a bang. This is a Blue Sparkle 60 Stratocaster, the Flamethrower Stratocaster. Very similar spec to the Gold Sparkle, but obviously a really cool Blue Sparkle instead. This one has a little bit more relicking than the gold, so you have a few dents to the finish on the back here. Uh, but you can just see how gorgeous this flake is on this Blue Sparkle. Um, it has a really nice feel to it. Um, it's definitely been relic and there's some really nice lacquer checking near the top horn here. Same specs as previous, so we have the tortoiseshell free ply guard, the 60s single coils, the black kind of single coil surrounds, volume two tones, slab board rosewood, flamed maple neck with the 60s profile and the vintage tuners. So very similar to all the guitars that we've reviewed today, um, but this one definitely is one of my favorite colors that Fender Custom Shop do. So let's plug it in and see how she sounds.
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to leave a like rating on this video. It really helps us get more views on these videos. And whilst you're down there, make sure to subscribe for more content on this channel. We upload every single day, so make sure to turn on that bell icon to get notified when we make a new video. Let me know in the comment section below which Fender guitar was your favourite in today's episode. I have to say, I think mine was the Gold Sparkle 62 Stratocaster. That thing really rocked. But thank you so much for tuning in today's episode, and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. But until then, keep rocking, guys. I'll see you soon. Yeah!